Hello everybody, Gavin McCormack here. This week we are in Costa Rica. We've traveled all the way from Australia to the Costa Rican rainforest to find a very special creature, one that the world loves. If you look over my left shoulder, you will see there is a sloth. This is a three-toed sloth, which is native to this area, and it's actually got a baby on its tummy. Now, sloths are absolutely adorable, but they're amazing for a number of reasons. Now, when you take a look at this sloth, it's very, very hard to see. It blends in with the bark, it blends in with the leaves, and that's because of a unique adaptation to its fur. In fact, its fur is covered with something called algae, which is a living organism, which changes its color from white to a nice browny green, causing it to be camouflaged. Now, sloths are amazing climbers. Although they climb extremely slowly, they can navigate the treetops of these rainforests with ease. And actually, unbeknown to many people, sloths are amazing swimmers. And this is because they have a very low muscle mass within their body, mainly consisting of fat, and fat consisting of water. They are amazing swimmers because they float so well. Now, these creatures obviously are very, very slow. In fact, they are the slowest creature on the planet, traveling at around about 0.02 kilometers per hour, which is about 20 meters per hour. And that's because they actually have a very low amount of energy. Now, why is that? Because all they consume is twigs, leaves, and berries. And as you can imagine, there's a very small amount of energy within those things, but do not despair. These creatures sleep for 20 hours per day, a bit like the cat. They spend most of their time asleep and they only move for two reasons. Number one, to feed, or number two, to go to the bathroom. And you might be thinking, don't they move when a predator comes? You see, in this jungle, there are jaguars and huge predators which would love to eat this sloth as a nice, tasty snack. Now. This sloth has an amazing way of deception. It hides, camouflages itself, and it doesn't move. As you can see, it's not moving at all, which makes it very, very hard to see. Now, going back to the food that they eat, yes, it's low in nutrition. However, they have an amazing system within their stomach. Human beings have one stomach to digest all of the food that we eat. However, these sloths have an amazing adaptation which has evolved over thousands of years, which allows them to actually take in food like the leaves and then slowly digest them over a long period of time. This is called a metabolism. Metabolism. Our metabolism as a human being is very, very quick. If we were to consume a banana, we would convert that banana into energy in around about one hour. This sloth right behind me will eat a leaf, and it might take up to one month for that leaf to be turned into energy. Now, what happens if the sloth cannot find any food? Well, that is no problem for this amazing animal. You see, the algae on its fur is a living organism. It attracts insects. It also attracts other things to live within it. It's like a little forest on the back of this creature. And if it can't find food, if it can't find nutrition, then on its back, it has a very special tasty snack that it can always eat to get on with its day. Now, mothers and babies are attached for around about six months, but the females and males mate in a very unique way. Sloths make a very high-pitched singing noise, and when a female is ready to mate and meet a male, she will sing a beautiful note high in the treetops. Males will arrive, and the males have a big, strong brown streak down their back. And when they arrive, they will give the female a nice massage on the back before mating and producing wonderful offspring, just like the sleepy baby you can see on this mum sloth's tummy. 
Now, sloths are not in danger here in Costa Rica. Costa Rica has a population of 5 million, and I'm about to tell you something absolutely amazing. There are around about 5 million sloths. That's one for every person. What an amazing achievement for this fantastic country. So they're not in danger here. However, around the world, their habitat is in danger. You see, we are in a rainforest, and around the world, we are cutting down trees. We are cutting them down to plant palm olive. We are cutting them down to make furniture. We are cutting them down to build habitats for ourselves, houses. And if we do that, unfortunately, this creature could be in danger. And you yourself might never get to see one, and that would be extremely sad. So this week, what we want you to do is rummage around in your house, in your cupboards, in your school, talk to your teachers, your parents, and we want you to find out the things that you have bought, the products that you are eating, the things that you are using in your house that come from the rainforest. And what we want you to try to do is eradicate them, cut them out, find an alternative. You see, the biodiversity on the back of this creature is much like the biodiversity all around the world. It has to be alive, it has to be mixed, and it has to be protected. And that power is in your hands this week. If we can have millions of children around the world looking in their cupboards and studying the things that they are consuming and seeing how they can protect the rainforest, then maybe, just maybe, in two years or three years' time, there'll be 10 million sloths, not five, and these creatures will live for all of eternity. Thank you so much, Gavin McCormack, in the Costa Rican rainforest. Goodbye. <laughs>